The name Yasmin Abdel Magid might ring a bell for some of you. She's a former engineer turned ABC broadcaster and commentator who caused a stir almost three years ago attacking Australia's border protection and other policies under the guise of Anzac Day. Abdel Magid certainly has said some provocative things. She's aired views that I would strongly contest, but I'd never condone the way she was treated online. She received terrible abuse, as of course most public figures do, especially women. Still, for her, it triggered a flight from Australia. Here's a reminder, courtesy of the SBS. Those hastily deleted and apologised for words sparked a torrent. More than 200,000 words in articles, online hate, death and rape threats. Perhaps, unsurprisingly, Yasmin no longer lives in Australia. I left, and I don't think that's the same as running away. This is not me running away because I'm scared. This is me taking things into my own hands and being like, I'm going to live my best life somewhere else and I'm going to post all these damn happy photos on Instagram and you're going to be really upset about the fact that you tried to crush me, you tried to ruin me and you didn't succeed. The reason I remind you of this is that while Yasmin might have criticised Australia and fled the country, the country that she says, of course, has treated her badly, it seems she's not above taking money from Australia. The latest round of Australia Council arts grants have included none other than Yasmin abdel Magid. She'll be given a six-month residency in Paris for her writing with a $20,000 grant to help her out. All thanks to the wonderful taxpayers, not of the UK or anywhere else, but of course of Australia. abdel Magid has thanked a lot of people on Twitter and her God which is all fair enough. But perhaps she might just have had found a little bit of time, a little moment, some space in her heart to thank the good taxpayers of Australia who got her started at the ABC and are stumping up again. There are a lot of citizens of this country, of course, who are often highly critical of so much about our past, uh, our institutions and our policies, but it never seems to prevent them from accepting our largesse.